Since the Mararaka Express train was launched two years ago, many Kenyans have embraced the SGR project by the government, especially mainly for ease in transport between Nairobi and Mombasa. But now Voi residents who gave their land for the sake of constructing the standard gauge railway line are a sad lot after the government kept mum on the issue of compensation. Tukaona kwamba madamu huu mradu utapita hapa, tukakubali ya kwamba huu mradu upiti hapa, labda tutaf, uh, tutapata manufaa kidogo, tutasaidiwa, tutalipwa. Lakini mpaka hivi sasa hatujalipwa chochote. Kila tukenda huko, mpira tu. Tumeenda kwa wakubote ni mpira tu. Kwa wengine walo lobatika wakalipwa kwa wanafraia, lakini kama sisi hatujalipwa, hatufraia loloti. The residents say that they gave their family land with hopes to benefit from their generosity. Tulitarajia wakisha lipa vile, at least tutabadilika. Mana shambalangu likikuwa limeenda. Sinitalipo wapesa mbobo zitanisaidia maisha mbeleni. Mana hakuna mali nitalima tena. Nitaenda nitafute kama ni shamba nunue. Lakini wapi, hakuna, sayi hatuna shamba. Hatuna malzao yote, tunapata mvoi na nyesha, tunayangale hivi vina machu tutalima wapi. The residents also feel that they have been conned with the Ministry of Land officers now claiming that the residents did not own land in the first place. Huu mradi umpita kwa mashamba yetu. Na ndio tulikuwa tunalima hapa ndio tulikuwa tunajipatia risk. Kwa kwenda katika hatua za kutaka kulipwa kiliambiwa hii case hii mashamba yako kwa prison. Sasa kama ni pesa tufanye kesi na prison tukishafaulu it now remains a wait and see situation for the residents, even as they continue pleading for the national government to intervene. Now, the SGR project came along with numerous benefits, with Voi residents being among the beneficiaries. But the compensation is becoming a thorny issue among those who paved way for the structure. Reporting for Switch TV, I'm Nixon Kisaka.